Greetings, Black Light. Today we scrutinizing, scrutinizing the coronavirus. And we're going to tell you, or show you, put it like that, we're going to show you how they weaponized the coronavirus against Uncle Sam, weaponized the coronavirus against its own citizens. And all the news media, all the uh, YouTube talk show people are in on it. Uh, and we'll, 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 explain, we'll give you our point of view. You might not agree with it and you might not even believe what I'm saying. But let's uh, reason this out together and be practical about our reasoning. Now, Now they want to test, they want to do door-to-door -door testing eventually. They're going to do door-to-door -door testing. They're going to come to your house. I'm speculating now. And test everybody in your house. Right now, they want everybody to do volunteer, voluntary testing. But they're going to mandate it pretty soon. Now, they said in the beginning that you show no symptoms for a while. You don't know you got it. So therefore, you may pass it on to somebody else. Then they start saying that it shuts down your immune system and it enhances, it enhances what is wrong with you all from the beginning. For, for example, you may have a cold and it might take effect of that cold or you may have a flu, it might enhance the flu. You may have a little bit of touch of tuberculosis. It will enhance tuberculosis. You may have a heart problem. It will make your heart go into cardiac arrest. High blood pressure, low blood pressure, eczema, asthma, whatever you already suffer from, uh, it will show up corona induced or coronavirus now everybody got a little something wrong with it you know ain't nobody uh, walking around uh, in perfect health you know it's gonna be something cause this environment is toxic from the beginning your food that you eat is toxic. The water you drink is toxic. The air you breathe is polluted. Uh, so you're going to have something wrong with you. And you're supposed to be so stupid that when you take the test you know, it's going to show, it's, it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to show positive that you got it. Now, some people that take it, they let, say it's negative. And they let that, them go for a reason. 
But the majority of black people, you know, they they uh, messed up anyway. A lot of us eat pork. A lot of us eat too much sugar. We overweight and we got something in the background uh, antagonizing us all the time. So, uh, I don't trust that. T I don't trust that whole scenario. Because I never did trust the Caucasian anyway. I cannot trust a man that uh, had the Tuskegee experiment, Tuskegee institution experimenting on black people with syphilis. I cannot trust a man that put us into slavery or made us prisoners of war. How can I trust a man like that? How can I trust a man that tries to kill me every chance he get if I don't obey his, his dictations or order? Can't trust a man like that. Uh, I done seen the man tell lies. I wasn't so naive to, to believe that uh, Saddam Hussein uh, had weapons of mass destruction. They got caught in that lie. Hillary Clinton got caught in lies. Donald Trump he, he's kept getting catching lies, getting caught in lies. Bush got caught in lies. Obama got caught in lies. Uh, there was no real true blue president or governor or mayor that wasn't corrupt, semi-corrupt, or a little bit of corrupt. They was corrupt, all of them. But some of them, like Brother Mayor Coleman Alexander Young, I ain't gonna say he, he, he didn't have his hands in the cookie jar, <clears throat> but he gave back to his people. He made sure his people was taken care of the best he could in this system. You know, when you be in the white man's system, you got all slicky. And you could, you know, if you're real slick, you could get a little bit for yourself and enhance your people's uh, future. That's what Coleman Young was doing. There was only one or two like that. Just like there's only one, the only, the only one, Elijah Muhammad, the one, Master Farad Muhammad. There's very few brothers that got over on the Caucasian. Elijah Muhammad is, is the most recent one I know of in this in our uh, recent history. He taught us how to think for ourselves. Now, the reason why we got to scrutinize this, this virus is because all followers of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, you know, we got doctors that's in the medical profession, pharmaceutical, I'm talking about that's in the nation of Islam, that's in the, you know, but you ain't hearing from him. You heard from Dr. Ali Muhammad, he told the real deal on it. He said it was a weaponized uh, virus that they've been working on and enhancing. I believe you. So, there's more black holistic healers nowadays. Some of them is fake, but some of them, a lot of them is, is very knowledgeable. We all gonna have to get together, man, and get the word out to our people what to watch for, what to do. If you don't, Unite.
it's going to be so difficult for us to fight this battle. This is until we continue, Black Life.